since a, if a person, he or she, uh, gets hurt on a job like a couple of years later down the road, uh-huh. and if I was a person qualified for Social Security, will they get that back pay on that, or how does that work, or Stevie? All right, BT, Just that's a good her. question. Absolutely. There is a difference yeah. between Social Security disability and workers' compensation. Absolutely there is, and you can file for Social Security disability at any time, and it has no effect on the workers' comp case, or vice versa. Mm-hmm. Now, if you do receive workers' comp benefits for a period of time, and you're filing for Social Security disability, there may be some offset of credit for the workers' comp you received for that uh, that, that payment from Social Security. So, and I deal with this all the time where I'm representing someone in a workers' comp case where they have filed for Social Security disability and they got it. When you settle that workers' comp case, you need to word that paperwork very carefully and properly so as to avoid any offset against your Social Security disability. <laughs> Otherwise, you really are going to be losing money and you need to know how to word that. Every time Bob's on the program, he says to a caller or just generally to us, Find an attorney that knows that area, right, that they do right. that. This sounds like one where just not anybody should be doing the wording you're talking about. It, it ought to be somebody exactly that right. knows what they're doing. And that's, and that's great advice. Go to someone yeah. who has experience, a lot, a, a lot of good experience in that area of the law, because there's a lot of things that you just can't get out of the book.